Well, hello, this is Joyce. And I'm here because I've been just playing around in my craft room. And I'm going to be spending Mother's Day with my sister and my daughter over in Georgia. So I was wondering, now how am I going to do my photos, you know, because I know we're going to have photos. But I knew we probably wouldn't have a lot, so I loved the traveler's notebooks, but I looked at all the ones that I had, and all of them were really thick. I had a lot of pictures, I mean not pictures, but pages, and I didn't want to tear any of them apart because I can find other uses for those. So I decided to create my own with less pages in them. So, in going through my stash of stuff, I found this drawing paper, which I had bought for um, mixed media, and I liked the feel of it. I had other paper. I had water, several different pads of watercolor paper, but I liked the feel of that, and I thought, okay, I can use that, and this paper is 9 by 12, and I... I cut it down to nine by eight and a quarter. It's 60 pounds. It has a medium tooth and it's acid free, so that'll be great for my photos because I will be using my HP printer because I want to try to put my little book together while I'm there and as I do stuff. Uh, so I use that as my pages and I use six pages. So it'll have each book I have 12, uh, it's going to have 12 pages. And to do my colors, I had this pad of paper that I had only maybe used one or two of the gold papers from. So I decided to use this as my cover. It's the Black Noir from Craftsmith, and it was a hot buy. And it's got a lot of gold foil and black and white, so that those that's what I use for my cover. And actually, these are my three covers. I did three. This was the first one. And I thought, you know, I got a couple other small little events that I'm going to be doing. So I would give each one, you know, between ephemera and pictures, I would have enough for six pages. I mean, to, you know, to 12, total of 12 pages, which, you know, I can do my journaling, stamping, whatever. So I'm going to decorate this one. Um, I'll take them to work because I'm not going to be doing no sewing. So I'm going to take them to work and staple the sides. And they aren't perfect. Um, they really aren't. But I kind of like them. And now I've got the ones that fit the size that I want. And I didn't want to keep trimming down this one. I, one side is a little smaller than the other, the papers are. But I didn't want to keep trimming because I was scared I was going to make them just cut away too much of the paper. So these, and this one says, live your dreams. And I'm gonna use the scraps to decorate the insides. And you know, there were uh, journaling sheets and stuff, so I cut out some of those. But yeah, those are gonna be my three, and they will be stapled together tomorrow when I get to work. And like I said, they aren't perfect. I will practice some more. Because most of the ones you buy, they just have way too much paper. So those are my three traveler's notebooks. Inserts. I never thought I could do that. But hey, it's done. Like I say, we aren't perfect. But once I staple them together, I think they're going to work just fine. And that is my quick and easy project for today. So I will be taking these to work and these are clips that I had bought for um, as you can see there's paint on that one. Clips I bought for um, mixed media. So that is it. And like I said these I'm going to use for uh, decorating my pages and I'll add color to that too. Uh, so yeah, thank you so much everybody. This is going to be over. And that is it. Thanks. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It's just a quick, you know, I wanted to show it. 
uh, nothing spectacular, but hey, I didn't think I would ever be able to pull that off at all, so I think I did pretty good. Give it a thumbs up if you like this video, and leave a comment. Have a great rest of your Sunday. Bye.